to Patch Player Two's weekly uh, show where we talk about anything and everything that's been going on in the gaming industry. So today I'm joined by Jay Parnas. Good to see you. Damo Camilleri. Yeah. First up is our Patch News section where we're going to talk about the most recent Nintendo Direct and what's kind of come of it. So the, the main attraction, well the main announcement of the show itself was the revelation of a new Paper Mario game that's coming to the Wii U, Paper Mario Color Splash. Yes. What do we think from the probably 20 seconds of footage we actually saw from the show? Um, so the game looked nice itself uh, in terms of the combat that was shown. It looked very, I don't know, like very similar to the, the two newest ones, Stick of Stars. Is it Stick of Stars? Stick of Stars was and, the DS game. Um, Super Paper Mario, I guess, was the one on the Wii. Uh, both of which I was not a huge fan of because they, they sort of moved away from the Bruce of the turn based RPG that uh, I guess Square sort of kicked off in the, uh, the original Super Mario Back RPG. The yeah, um, which I was more of a fan of. A Thousand Year Door was uh, is probably one of my favourite JRPGs, if not like, it's top three, top five, whatever you want to yeah. say. Um, so I don't know, look, obviously it's very early, but uh, it did look like there was a whole sort of messing about in combat rather than just the straight up turn based stuff. But uh, it did look nice. Um, oh, it looked very sharp. Yeah, like, the environment looked very nice. When you get the, that sort of paper aesthetic that they've got and then combine that with HD visuals, you're going to get an incredible oh, absolutely. game. And I have no doubt the game will look fantastic. There was, a, there was a nice bit of animations. If you, if you go back and watch the, um, the video, you'll see that, they, that there's a bit of a gust of wind as they approach the uh, abandoned town. Uh, obviously, they, because they're paper, they do flap in the wind a little bit. So... That was a bit of good fun. What, what did you think, David? Uh, I mean, yeah, another Paper Mario sounds cool. I mean, it's been a long way, really, hasn't it? Like, it's... I mean, it's glad that they haven't ever saturated the series, but I've um, seen a new one coming. It's... Yeah, it is. It's, it's kind of cool. Like, um... I don't know, yeah, 20 seconds isn't a lot for me to judge something on. Uh, but if I was being judgmental, I'd be like, yeah, the same thing. Just bring back that hopefully bring back that classic, you know, turn-based. Yeah, I was, I was a big fan. The, yeah. yeah, I loved it. I mean, without doubt, Thousand Year Doors, the pick of the, uh, of the Paper Mario games by a long way. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, yeah, like I said, a long way. Like, it's not even, it's not even really a joke. Yeah, I just don't really enter the conversation on you. Kind of. not, not particularly. Um, I suppose it's kind of like the uh, Bowser's Inside Story of the Superstar Saga. Yeah. They just, they just hit all of those notes. That the series has been doing for a while, but just did it really well. Moving on to one thing that you're personally a big fan of, the franchise you're personally a big fan of, yes. Star Fox. Yes. So it, it got itself a release date of, I think, for Australia, April 23rd. Check that, it's a sad date. Um, mm. But it also is getting, uh, its first run of print is also getting accompanied by Star Fox Guard, which is... Originally, yeah, was there was a like game the that Emoto Nintendo were kind of uh, messing around with, trying out ideas for the Wii U. It was called Project Garden. It seems to have just gotten the Star Fox skin, where you pay yeah. uh, Slippy and his brother or sibling. It was called. I think it was Uncle or something like that. Wasn't it? Yeah, it really the the names escaped me, but they kind of offset one another. It's I don't know. I don't know too much about Garden. I don't think anyone really does. But what do we think of uh, the fact that we're getting the main game, Star Fox Zero, on April twenty third? Um, well, look, when it was announced, for me, it was one of those sort of system shifter type ideas because for me, Star Fox 64 is an amazing game. If they built Star Fox 64 arcade cabinets, I would be a poorer man, put it that way, um, because that game is fantastic. Um, and there have not been many decent entries into the game. In fact, there have barely been entries into the series at all, but uh, they've not exactly been strong. Um, since then, obviously, even the, the 64 remake was, it, it had some ups and downs. Um, so to see them sort of go back and say, okay, we're going to take all the things that people love about 64 and build a new game with it, that's, uh, that appeals to me, but i um, not too sure how I feel about the control scheme. They did, they did mention something about that, but I think that was only for co op, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm still not super clear on what they plan on doing. I think for me, it's like I'm going to get it because it's Star Fox and I'll sure. just wait and see what happens when the game comes out. Any thoughts? Not a huge Star Fox fan. To be honest, I mean, I get it's a great game and everything like that, and I don't like you know have any like qualms about it or anything like that. It's just it's not my style. Like I've tried to play it and I just don't have the prowess. No, fair enough. 
Well, we'll jump to a franchise then that you are a big fan of, and that's Kirby. So they announced a new Kirby game for the 3DS called Kirby Planet Robobot, or something. Yeah, Robobot. Fantastic. How you pronounce yeah. it, I'm not sure. But uh, it's also getting accompanied by four Amiibo, and it'll be coming out, I think, in June of this year. So what did you think? I'm excited. New Kirby game? Like, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've had, like, a fresh Kirby game. You know what I mean? Well, like, they, did, uh, did, they did the... There was three S one curse. Well, no, there was Rainbow that. Curse there, there, was, the there was three D one. I'm just trying to think of the name of it now. Because um, there was the the Wii version. There was the Wii game, the re- Nightmare in Dreamland, and then you had the one that introduced the sort of teleporting to the background, which was not that long ago. I think it was like a few, a few years ago. It was definitely around the time of Canvas Curse because I believe they were announced at the same time. But uh, it looks like, from the trailers at least, that uh, it's going to have some of the same um, sort of forward and backward sort of depth that uh, the last 3DS Kirby had, uh, while also entering in with a new kind of mechs or whatever it is they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of thing. Yeah, who, uh, who knows. Um, it does look like there's going to be some new Kirby powers, which is always good. Yeah, um, Kirby wearing goggles. Like, who can complain about that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's. I mean, as as, as good as Knuckle Joe is, um, it's nice to see them expand <laughs> past that because I mean, um, yeah. it's 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 oh, one I'll thing to you know rely on the sword or the or the fighter, but um, you, you definitely need some fun ones. And some of the new ones that they've made have not been amazing. Uh, there was a Circus Kirby in the last 3DS game, which was. It was alright. You could turn it into a circus tent and you can bounce on a ball. It was, it was, it was an idea. <laughs> don't justify. Uh, moving on to another announcement. I don't know if Monster Hunter does anything for either of you, but Monster Hunter Generations, which is was called Monster Hunter X or something like that in Japan, yep. that's coming across. Uh, it doesn't really do anything for me, but uh, I know it's a big image shift up in some Certainly parts of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah. there's a growing community in the West as well for Monster Hunter. It's oh, absolutely. Getting, getting more and more popular. Demo, you... Yeah, yeah, I played the shit out of 3. Um, I didn't get it on to 4 because just at that point it was... Because um, I jumped on to 3 so late and then 4 just kind of sprang out. And I was like, yeah. oh, god damn it. Um, they're massive time sinks. Oh, they're huge. Because, I mean, it's grinding the same thing again and again and again to get certain parts and, like... You know, obviously, I mean, like, some drops are, like, 5% on a do. Yeah. And, I mean, that can be shitty, but, hey, man, like, I did. Like like I said, I pumped a hell of a lot of time into 3, and it was really fun. And, like, you know, I loved the ability that you were able to have someone had it on the Wii U, and I had it on my DS. And then I could see myself, like, run past on that screen. And, like, you know, it was cool. We were co-oping. Like, that was... And the co-op was amazing, too, like... Because it didn't affect your single player game, so like you could you just teleported, well not teleport, but you got on a boat and went to this new area, and it was the exact same game, but it was like co-op missions yeah. and things like that. So it's kind of cool. Do you think? Uh, do you think the fatigue is there for that series yet? No, nah, because they just keep making like they just like oh no, this was annoying. Should we? And then there's nothing huge that like. Kills the game because I mean, if you just want, like, you could just go out, kill one monster, and that's it. You can put the game away for a bit and go for a walk if you wanted to. Sure, you can wait for a train or something like that. Like, well, it doesn't really seem like the quality is dipped on them at all. So maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe if they do have one that kind of goes bust, there might be something. I think if they sales backlash, but I think if they have one that goes bust, Capcom will go bust. Well, I don't yeah. think they're making many other games they're not these days. Yeah. Um, Azure Strikers Gun Vault. Two? Azure. Azure. Sorry, yes. Sure. Um, that was one that you were into. Yeah, that was, that was one that I, in fact, played the shit out of. Um, <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, that was uh, made by Intercreates, who did the Mega Man Zero series and uh, did some of, some of those games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, plays very much like a, a 2D side scrolling Mega Man type game. Yeah. Uh, more like the X Zero series. Um, Takes a lot from ZX series as well, um, and this was coming to 3DS. Was that right? Yes, yeah. correct, correct. Um, I the, the last one was real tough. I still haven't beaten the final boss. That was 
it's like a multi, it's like a three stage, just grind fest, and I was just I couldn't do it. It was real tough. But um, yeah, looking forward to that one. I'll have to upgrade my three DS. I think to give myself some more storage space. Oh yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Um, I guess one that I'll sink a lot of time into when it finally comes out is the remake of uh, Dragon Quest Seven that was only ever originally released in Japan. Mm-hmm. It's now coming overseas. That's coming for three DS. All they did in the direct was kind of reconfirm that it's coming out in uh, 2016. So that's that's all I need to hear. Yep. And probably then the other more contentious topic will be Metroid Prime Federation Force, which is coming for the 3DS. Yeah. Um, every time a new bit of footage pops up, regardless whether it deserves it or not, the like to dislike ratio on Nintendo's YouTube channel cops a hammering mm. um, because of this game. Thoughts? Um, look, not I'm necessarily s- even based on that footage that we saw, just the whole idea. Sure. Well, look, I was never a huge Prime fan. I felt that the series, the first one was great, the second one was good, the third one I couldn't even finish because I didn't enjoy it at all. Um, I was obviously severely un- like unimpressed by the, I think it was Metro Prime Hunters, I think they did for the original yeah. DS, because uh, that was that was not good. That was, that was a bad time. Uh, obviously not a full game, it was like a like a demo sort yeah, of idea. Probably a proof of concept or something like that, which I think they talked about a little bit in the direct. Um, it doesn't look great, does it? Like Graphically, it doesn't look great. Well, yeah, but there's not much you can do with the 3DS these days. Oh, anyway. that's... Uh, uh, you're, and, 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 I mean, like, if you're trying to go down that path, which is almost semi-realistic... Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I would say that there's plenty... Because there's of, plenty of great-looking games on the 3DS. Oh, that's right. There's, there's plenty... Of, I mean, because, you know, the the Smash Bros. Um, yeah, you, know, you have a look at Smash. I mean, yeah, look, it doesn't have sprawling environments, but um, you, you've got some you've got some business that's happening there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Look, it just doesn't. It didn't. I, I look. I'm a big Metroid fan, uh, and I just like make me a real Metroid. Don't don't make me Prime. Wait, like, <laughs> like, like the NX. I don't look. Just make a two D Metroid. Like if if one dude can make. Uh, if, if Thomas Happ can make the stellar game that is uh, Axiom Verge, like surely Nintendo's got a team of dudes just sitting there doing nothing. Surely yeah, you, could, you'd think so. Yeah. Surely they could pump out yeah, some, nice. some talent like Super Metroid again. It's, I mean, it's, surely it's not that hard. So I don't know. Look, I, I understand. It's it's a very popular series and it's stagnant. It's close to the hearts of a lot of people. So yeah. if, if you give them something like Federation Force that is clearly not considered by most, your typical Metroid, well then it's going to cop a hammering. But well, I feel like we've got to be at least a little bit careful because people kind of arced up the same way when Prime itself first arrived and then the first game was acclaimed by many, many people, so. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know, did, what, what did you think of it that way? I don't know, man. Like, I'm not a huge 3D Metroid person and things like that. Um, but, I don't know. I mean, some people are excited for it, others aren't. Me, I'll just you know, I'll just wait and see. Like, it's not something that I'm going to rush out and buy, but... I think it's the safest way to be. I'm not going to shit talk it either. I'm like, I mean, yeah, sure, it doesn't feel like it's a Metroid game. You know? well, in a more conventional sense. From what yeah. they said, they, they said, oh, the, the Metroid universe is a big universe where there's a lot that we can cover. I don't, I don't know if there is. Because, I mean, they're still fighting the same enemy. Yeah, this time. yeah oh, it's absolutely. Like, at the end of the day, it's like, oh, there's a, it's, it's a big universe, so, you know, maybe other people can fight the space pirates. What? Like, that's the same enemy. You're not fleshing out your universe yeah. by fighting the same enemy. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, I would argue they just say, look, if you want to make it that's a big universe, put the main character of your series and take them to a different place. Change, change, yeah. change, change the environment and the baddies and the... Whatever. Do a time skip even. Like, sure. go back in time or something. Like... Yeah. Okay. Me- ooh, Metroid Primal. Like, you know... Go... No, 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 that's not... <laughs> the nice thing I've never found words, though, but... Yeah, um, yeah I'll, I guess, I'll say that. I'll that. I'll say but I guess outside of um, those announcements, there was a few smaller ones. So there was updates to Splatoon and mm-hmm. Mario Maker. Which um, just shows... Nintendo is considering what their online has been over 
They've, they've done, done an incredible is, job. They have done an amazing job with supporting with their games. Those two, Better Smash, than, Mario Kart, they've, they've really kind they've, of had years yeah. and years of life added into them because of the post-release support. And again, considering what, what their sort of, I don't know if it was policy or considering just what their standard rules were as far as DLCs and any additions to or alterations to the game at all, like to, to turn it around like this completely is just phenomenal. Yeah. Like, if you even have a look at the um, updates for Super Mario Maker, the amount of life that that will add to the game, I mean, they've already shown it was like over 6 million courses have been made, and a lot of players have been sort of breaking, not breaking, but using, using the game's tools to force players to do certain tasks and so on and so forth. And the items that they added just basically push that in that whole direction. Puzzle courses, all of that sort of stuff. It's it's fantastic. It's yeah. great to see. And it's free, of course, which is even better. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, they've, they've done a great job. So I guess winding it down, they also just locked in a release date for the Persona Cross Fire Emblem title. I still don't really know what they're going for with the name. I think it's, it's like an hashtag FE, and that's all we see. But I don't know. Sharp I FE, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm spent too much time on Twitter. Um, yes. So they've locked that in for June 24th. And then... Yay! Not... Birthday present for me! <laughs> and then they kind of announced that uh, Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix was going to come to 3DS as well. Um, Which is good. It does good nothing for me, but they, they didn't lock in a date, so it's coming later. It's good to see stuff like that. I mean, you think about what the WarioWare series did for the Wii and the Game Boy Advance, and even the, the DS. Um, this is another game of that ilk that uh, definitely... It's, it's just short bursts, um, probably, it's probably going to show a lot of uh, unique interactions with the, the console itself, it's yeah. nice good sound, um, and it's, it's nice and stylized, it should be, should be good fun. But outside of that, there was, there was not a lot else, um, we weren't going to see any Zelda, I think we knew that going into it, because they said it was only going to be focusing on games that were going to be coming out in our autumn window, autumn yeah. winter sort of window. Mm. Zelda, whatever happens to it, whether it's Wii U or NX, that will not be cited probably until E3 and probably, yeah. then not, probably not come out till at least the end of the year so that doesn't surprise me at all that we didn't see any there there was a few people that arced up but they probably need to sit down and think about it a little bit before yeah. they kind of vent on the internet but so should most people yeah. um, any final points at all that we took away from that? Um, looks like Nintendo's probably going to have a fairly strong year so long as the, if, if their titles do even you know 80s that sort of ballpark you're looking at a lot of stuff. I mean, coming off the back of, you know, years and years, obviously last year excluded, but years of people just saying, where is Nintendo's games? Like, what are they releasing? Mm. Um, it's showing that they've had it's maybe two or even three years now of just, yeah, just a lot of games. Like, not a lot of PR speak in terms of their console. Just, just putting shit out, you know, which is, which is great to see. And, uh, and then, you know, they're hopefully starting to touch on franchises that uh, a lot of people have been crying out for. Um, yeah. Obviously, Star Fox is the first one down that. Um, I'm hoping that there will be a Metroid down the track. Um, yeah, I think undoubtedly, undoubtedly they're working on things or, and sitting on some other things. I mean, Miyamoto last, last year came out and said the Pikmin 4 was nearly done. So there's things that they're clearly sitting on as well that they're going to deliver when they see fit. Mm. And, of course, you've also got the, uh, the 3DS... Super Nintendo game library that is starting up, yeah, uh, with the virtual console. Which the the games that they picked um, seemed a little targeted to me. Um, so your Super Metroids, your F Zero, your Pilot Wings. Yeah. Um, I mean, you look at those and it's like, okay, perhaps they do acknowledge that this well, these franchises are like Earthbound. Earthbound got in there. I mean, when was the last time you saw a Western release of an Earthbound game? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Earthbound, I think, was the last one. It came out for the Wii U, I think. Yeah, I, I know, but that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, None of the other games in the series have actually made it to the Western audiences. So Not just originally. Like, yeah, I mean... The original one came out for the Wii U last year. Like, Oh, okay, they right. They yeah. called it Earthbound Beginnings or the Beginnings. Yeah, or something I like mean, that. yeah. Like, yeah. in terms of the normal releases on the, the platform they were built for. Um, so just, just showing that there's still life in series like that is... Yeah. It's fantastic. And then, um, but otherwise, I guess that's about all there is there, really. Um, Damn, there was to go. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> Damn, I had to disappear. He'll, he'll be back for the next part. Um, so, there was also Pokemon the week before. 
Yes. Um, that was announced in its own separate direct, and we'll talk, we're actually going to dedicate a bit more time to that in this week's Topic of the Month. So yes. You can look forward to that when the time comes. Spoilers. Uh, spoilers, heads up for two weeks from now. Um, so we'll wrap it up there. Damo, like I said, he will be back. He will be back. You can find him at Tarko's Talks on Twitter. Uh, you can find Jay, if you look hard enough on Twitter, you can find me, Paul James P2. You can find Player2, Player2AU on Twitter. And until the next part, we'll see you later.